Hello everybody, I'm TRG and today we are looking at Return of the Obra Din. It's a very, very early game, like super prototype. It's made by Lucas Pope, the same guy who made Papers, Please, and I'm really surprised. You may already see that, oh, they, wait, that's pixel art and... You're kind of right and kind of wrong with that assumption. Let me just stretch this. There we go. There are a few modes you can sort of have different sizes. So what this is? Well, this is a mystery... mystery adventure game? Let me just begin. This is a, yes, this is an early ev development build. Most content is missing and there are rough edges on the rest. It's like a 10 minute demo of sorts. Company called on me. Said you'd never ferry to the ship. Seems a bit levy, if you ask. I didn't. It shouldn't be back, you know. The Obra Din. I know. Could be cursed. Could be. Your box there? What's in it? Oh no. Looks heavy. Hoist it up in a few minutes. What? How? Carefully. And welcome to Obra Din. Find the crew master roll book. Yep. Press space to use items. It's a very simple game. It's mouse, WASD and space. And as you can see, this is a full 3D game, but it's kind of a monochrome... I don't know, it uses... I think it's a pixel shader that makes everything look like a... like pixel art in real time, which is... This looks really freaking cool. I love this. And uh, hello, spooky scary skeleton. You can use space to open items when you're hand shows up. See, there's no one here, nothing to interact. You can interact when your hand appears. I think only. And there's nothing here. I like that there's the shading is sort of did, made with the differing. Hoi! Your box! I'll put it up here! And Right now you might think, oh, well, this isn't much. But the interesting part lies here within this little box. A clock. Memento Mortis. I think it's Memento Mori. Remember death. It's... No, wait. Mori, I think, remember you will die. Or something like that. And that allows us to do this. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take! Exactly what I give you! And welcome to the main uh, main thing in the main mechanic in this, this game. So, you can see for a limited time the death of a person. Like, the, the clock is ticking down. I have some seconds. There are two crewmates here. All fully two color shaded. And here is our captain shooting off his gun. And this is really interesting because you can see all the particle effects. Everything is black and white, yet it looks really freaking good. Those details, man. Too bad you cannot sort of cancel when you're like done with this sequence. You can hear the last like seconds and then we're and away going back to the real world. 
You can start off here the last seconds of life. And that will come in handy, like listening to these last conversations. Here we have the crew book, crew master role. And we have all these people. And our goal is to determine the fate of everyone on board. And that is why this book is. When you press tab, you can open the crew master role again. Here and say captain. We don't know yet, but we can select his fate out of uh, many. How he was kill killed, who killed him, so on and so forth. So let's see another scene. And who is this person with a knife? Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. <laughs> And now we see our captain defending himself with a knife and being stabbed at the same time. And here is our dead friend. Oh, and I forgot to show you that when that first scene happened, there was a guy over here running up. And it's little details, you have just so little time to explore the scene. See, here he is trying to come up after this guy. So. Now we know that the dead body is of this guy, it's not the captain yet. We are yet to find what happened with to the captain. How much time do we have left? Quarter. You cannot interact with anything, you just can explore the partial scene. And... Back to the real world. door is... yep, it's still locked. Oh man, the hand sort of behaves weirdly. Like it stretches out. Okay, and there are no dead bodies here, so this must be the assassin. Open it up and let's peek into the past. And yes, even though he was... Oh, he was even stabbed in the back, I didn't notice. Okay, so this guy is... I don't know, probably... How did he die? And yes, there's an open now. This door is open up. And there's a person here, but we don't know yet who it is. Jesus, you can see, sort of see the, spl the swing of the weapon. And this guy is bleeding to death. I wish you could skip these, but it's it's like a version. Ver it's actually a version 0 0.0.4, .0 so it's like the most. It's barely created. There's barely any content, but I like the premise of it. And now there's another dead body. And even two dead bodies. And let's see what happened here. And well, 
he committed suicide. And here is his sister or wife, I don't know. I think wife and these guys are dead. And like I said, it's again the problem that the you cannot skip these parts. You have to wait them out. You cannot open the crew master. So we'll wait and then we'll we'll pick up decide what killed our friend here, Mr. Captain. And we are coming back. And here we go. So, Captain has been... has committed suicide by... gun. Suicide with a gun. And that's our first per first person. Now, he mentions that he killed his wife's brother with a gun. So that's the guy outside who was shot first, who we seen first. Now, my friend actually pointed this out that Robert Witterell is the name of the captain, and his name, wife's name is Abigail. Abigail Witterell has a second last name and it's Hor I, I can't read this horse coot and the first mate William Horsecoot you can determine his fate that he was killed by no he wasn't killed by an animal not a devil he was built killed by a crewmate by and we can choose which crewmate it was Robert Whitrell Vi with a gun. And this is how the game is supposed to be played in the future. You'll you'll have to find out everyone how everyone on this bo on this boat died. And now we can see the final cutscene of this little development demo. Let's see or hear what happened to his wife. Stay inside. This storm is the devil's world. He can never walk those things up for him. And this is the end. Yes, the fate of two crew members can be dedu deducted at this time. And thanks for playing. And also thanks for watching. So yeah, this is it. This is how far the demo goes. You can download it for free right now. But I'll be definitely looking out for this game. Because Lucas Pope is a fucking genius. And so far I'm really loving this idea of... Looking back at the final death moment and finding out, finding out who was killed by who. I've been TRG solving some murder mysteries on a ship. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.